This video tip is for those of you who have one of these older Mercedes Benzes whose trunk just won't open. Even if the door locks are unlocked, you come back and push the button, <laughs> it won't open. So it's really frustrating because you have to go get the key. <laughs> and then you have to uh, use the key to open it every time. And if you look closely, you can see the reason why. You push the button and that little latch lever is not releasing. Let's take a closer look at this mechanism and I can show you how to make a temporary fix. Notice when I push the button for to the trunk release that this little latch is not moving. That little latch should come back to release the trunk lid. So what that means is the vacuum actuator that controls your trunk locks is not releasing. And it probably means your vacuum door locks are not working properly or working intermittently. So let me show you what I do. Maybe you don't want to take the time to fix your entire door lock system, but at least you can do this simple fix so you can get the trunk open and closed with this button instead of having to get the key every time. What I'm going to show you here is directly applicable to the W123 and the W126 chassis. You'll have to remove this panel here in the back of the trunk. So I pop this plastic piece off and I remove this panel and this will expose the vacuum trunk lock actuator. See that right here? And if you look closely, there's some springs there. This is spring loaded to always lock, not spring loaded to stay open. I'll come in here and grab a hold of the plastic part of the actuator and look what happens when I try to push it to the open position. See how it springs right back to the lock position? So what I'm going to have to do is figure out how to just get this so it just stays in the unlocked position. Before making this temporary fix, you need to make sure that the trunk button is in the unlocked position on this W126. It's horizontal, not vertical. So I'm making sure that this is unlocked, but look, it's unlocked, but it's still not moving that lever. Now watch closely as I take and push this vacuum actuator that way and you'll feel it kind of move to a different position. Now watch what happens when I hit the button. See that? It's releasing. But if I just leave this, eventually it's going to work its way back to where it's not working. If you accidentally have the trunk button in the locked position, you can't move the rod over. It just won't work. So I'm going to turn this back to the unlocked position. I'm going to take the actuator and push all the way that way and watch. The button is working again. So you can see you're going to have to find some way to hold this over permanently so when you push the button it releases the latching mechanism. Now this is the tricky part because there's only one way you can hold this over. If you just wrap around this with a zip tie, and that's what we're going to use, we're going to use zip ties, and pull this tight, you can get this open but you can't get the trunk locked with the key. So it's important to use two zip ties and watch closely where I'm going to put them. You can't put one here because that's not going to allow you to lock the trunk. You have to put it here. See, you have to hold it there and then when you lock the trunk this can come back. So we're going to put the small zip tie right here like this I'm just going to put that loose like that. Then we'll take this longer zip tie, put it through the small zip tie. We're going to go through this hole here. And I'll hook that one up loosely. Now look closely, okay? Now I'll tighten up the small zip tie. And then now I'm going to tighten up the bigger zip tie. I'm not going to tighten it too tight about there. Alright, see that? Now the latch moves with the button unlocked. Now let's put the key in and watch what happens here when I turn it to the lock position. See that? You see why you can't put the zip tie there? When you lock it with a key it pushes this back and then I pull the key out and now look, it's not releasing the latch mechanism. So once again if I turn the key horizontally and release it, it's opening. So there you have it. I'm going to leave it like this until I get the time 
to tackle the full repair on the vacuum door lock system on this 280SE. Now let's close the trunk and make sure it, it works. And if you have your keys, always make sure you take them with you. Don't lock them in the trunk. I don't know about you, but I've always found this a big irritant on these older Mercedes that have vacuum door lock problems. You can see it's a fairly easy fix, at least a temporary fix. Some people might even leave it as a permanent fix, but let's see how it works now. Instead of having to run and get the key every time I want to open the trunk, I can just push the button in, all right? Now we want to double check and make sure it locks, so we're going to turn this to the vertical position, and look at that. With it in the shop here, I can just leave it unlocked and come back and work on the trunk without having to go get the key.